How are we doing folks? Welcome back, welcome back. We have another sample for you, another crazy sample. This one, I know is, is this is going to sound really, really crazy, isn't it? This is uranium. I have some uranium here, but it's not the crazy uranium. I haven't got a massive uh, lead line box or anything like that. The uranium I have is uranium ore. So basically this has been mined. Um, it hasn't been uh, enriched in any way, well, if that's the word. Basically, uranium ore deposits are economically recoverable concentrations of uranium within the Earth's crust, being 40 times more common than silver and 500 times more common than gold. Crazy as that. I believe like years ago, when it in the 50s or 60s or something like that, people used to go out, buy Geiger counters, especially in America, and they used to go out trying to find uranium and sell it. I'm sure that was the case, because uranium used to come to the surface or something like that. Am I thinking there correctly? I haven't read into I'm just... Something off I read years ago. The primary use of the uranium that's obtained from the ground, from the mining folks, is used in, in the fuel for nuclear reactors, basically. Crazy as that. So let's, uh, let's stop talking and uh, get into this. Now, this is sealed up as well. This is how I got it on eBay. Uh, still in the packet there. Not No messing about, folks. Let's get the... There it is. That's just it. There's no point taking it out. It's a powder form, I believe, or a rock. If you start taking it out, and it is a dust, I don't want to breathe that in. Because this is radioactive as well, folks. Okay. Geiger counter. You can get these on eBay. I think I did say in the first video, um, the Immersium video we did. So let's, um, let's do it. Here we go. Just let that go for a second. Now, I was just reading up here how dangerous this is all on Google um, search. How dangerous is uranium? Ingestion of high concentrations of uranium can cause severe health effects, such as cancer of the bone or liver. Inhaled large concentrations of uranium can cause lung cancer from the exposure to alpha particles. So yeah, that's why I keep it in the bag, folks. So basically, what are we at? Uh, 200, yeah, 250 counts per minute. That's basically it, folks. Not really high levels, you know, you think, wow, root uranium, but no. Pop them back in there. It's just talking about the, um, like you got years and years ago, I suppose you have heard of the uranium girls, that these women used to go around, they used to paint uranium on clocks, on the dials. Not on the hands and stuff like that. I used to paint it in in radium. That um, go off in a minute. There you go. So basically, it glow in the dark because it glows. I mean, it really glows. Radium does really good stuff actually. Um, I've been trying to find old clocks and stuff like that with the radium on them to test the old Geiger counter out with. But uh, unfortunately, it's hard to find. I think now. Also, you can get camera lenses uh, radioactive, highly radioactive. Some of them are radioactive. I'm trying to look for them as well. I know, it's crazy. Am I crazy, folks? But, um... No. It's all fun. And, you know, I first started getting interested into, like, um... Radiation and stuff like that. When, um, I started... I watched this documentary on YouTube called, um... You know what I'm going to say, didn't you? The Radioactive Boy Scout. I'll leave a link in the description, folks. Absolutely amazing. Basically, this kid made a... A mini nuclear reactor in his shed and that's a hundred percent true story and um and you know he did all this he was getting radiation out of smoke alarms out of uh the radium out of clocks and all that stuff and he made this reactor out in his shed it contaminated his neighborhood he got found out because it, for some reason he took put the reactor in his in his car boot something and he got stopped by the police for some reason and he wanted to check his boot 
opened it up and the police saw this stuff in there and I think he admitted saying it was a nuclear reactor and uh, yeah and <laughs> how crazy is that that really is crazy and it's on there he's he, he's died now though I think he uh, he had addiction to drugs and stuff like that and probably health problems as well from all that exposure to radiation but yeah check it out folks it really is um, it's an eye opener I didn't know nothing about it when I first saw it I thought that can't be true and I looked, looked at the video, proper video, documentary, and it's like, wow, how mad. So I hope you found that fascinating, folks. I'm always uh, looking into the information and stuff like that on them. And um, so, yes, we had uh, 1,000, what was it, 1,300 counts a minute maximum. So we didn't get over the extremely high 2,000 evacuate immediately. So we're safe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, and all that jazz, folks. Honest opinion. What do you reckon of them, folks? I think they're too big. I have a very uh, funny thing about glasses, but leave it in the comment section, folks. Okay, see you soon, folks. All the best.